Today, I'll be teaching this AI to drive around this track. And some f***ing respect, apparently. The folks over at Unity are doing some really impressive work in the machine learning space. Like teaching these rackets to play tennis and teaching these squares to play football. They've also made it really easy to integrate into Unity projects. After adding the ML Agents package, installing Python and installing the ML Agents Python package, I was ready to start preparing my little dude to learn how to do some shit. I equipped him with a set of observations that he could use to learn about his environment. These included some front-facing vision so that he can see his delicious treats, some downward-facing vision so that he knows what surface he's on, and I told him to keep an eye on his velocity. The premise is pretty simple, the math not so much. Luckily for us, we can leave that in the hands of those much more capable. Anyway, if this little guy performs an action that we deem favorable, we give him a reward. In this case, colliding with this checkpoint. And if he does something we don't like, say, going off-road, we punish him. With all his observations and environment in place, we send him on his way by typing in the learn command. This injects a bunch of actions into his controller, and passes the output through some fancy math equations, the goal of which is to maximize the reward he receives. This relationship that is created between our little guy, his environment, and the action he decides to take is known as his neural network. At the start of his lifetime, and for some time thereafter, we see him perform a load of seemingly random actions as he tries to get a feel for what rewards him more or less. I'm so confused. Oh, and if you notice him snapping back to his start position, that's because I've set up an action limit of 5,000. It's also worth noting that I've added some punishment if he's moving backwards. At around 10,000 steps, he's not made much improvement and is still not the brightest with a mean reward of around minus 212. But we'll soon find out that 10,000 steps is really nothing when training an AI. But because I was curious, I couldn't help but be a bit of a helicopter parent, and I watched closely as he continued to disappoint me for another 10,000 steps before finally learning that moving backwards is not wise. Flash forward to the 100,000 step mark and he's still pretty much as wise as I am. There are a few configuration items that you can fiddle with to tweak his learning experience. Say for example, he repeats the same step over and over, you can increase his epsilon value and add a curiosity module. And while saying these big words makes me sound smart, I mostly just followed the instructions in the documentation and tweaked them according to the advice thereof. And after a bit more reading, I found out that this training process is indeed a waiting game. So to better equip him for all of the learning that was ahead of him, I created a track with a bit more variation, including some longer straights as well as wider and sharper bends. I also added a set of boundary walls that would reset his position if he went wandering off into the abyss. I probably could have resumed the learning from where it was, but I decided to restart it instead because, you know, science and stuff. Quick side note, if you're still here, and mum, this applies to you too, please smash that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying the content so far. For the first 600,000 steps or so, he continues being pretty bad at being alive. <laughs> I have no idea what he was up to at this point, but it was pretty amusing to watch. But all of a sudden, at the 700,000 step mark, things started to become a lot more promising, as he manages to round the first couple of bends, albeit quite slowly, before running out of steps and resetting. Success! At the 800,000 step mark, he manages to complete just over a single lap before resetting. He continues to improve and utilizes less and less of his 5,000 step limit over time, and by the 1 millionth step, he's completing the track consistently and with ease. I'll leave the training at that for now, and by simply dragging the resulting model file into his model property, he now has a brain. And now, irrespective of the track, he should be able to navigate it just fine. I'm so proud. Granted, in real time, he does it pretty slowly, but with more training time, I'm sure he'd pick up the pace. I find it really fascinating that I was able to do this with such ease, and I plan on pushing the boundaries of teaching this AI as far as I can. As usual, the code can be found in the GitHub repo linked below, and if you have a look, I've named it City Simulation. I'm in the process of teaching this guy some rules of the road, and also that it's bad to drive into people, so if you find that interesting, be sure to check back in a bit for updates. Thanks so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.